Okay, so Stefan from overunity.com made a suggestion to me to take the stainless steel scrubbers um, that look like this and uh, try those for my surface area. Um, well, I did that, um, but I was uh, having some difficulty with the contact area because the conductivity wasn't uh, easy to grab hold of. What I realized was that there's some kind of coating on these. Um, so what I did was I just put it on my stove. I just set it right on the burner and uh, let that kind of cook off and flip it over a couple of times with my tongs. And um, I cooked it off. And I put two of them uh, wrapped around each side, um, wrapped around the post inside here. And I have this, I've got a little jumper box here. And it's not plugged in. It's just a 12-volt battery um, that's at about 13 volts to jump start the car. So I've got the jumper cables hooked right up to the uh, anode, the cathode. And coming out of the hydrogen side, let's see if that'll work. You can see that there's some bubbles definitely active. And they're big bubbles instead of the little ones. So once I get my pulse unit um, and I get the electrical side of this, um, I'm waiting on some parts to make that really work. I'm sorry about the noise. Some guy just pulled up in his car out here and he's got his uh, <coughs> noise uh, music, whatever, playing. <laughs> um, anyway, so that's bubbling. And it's doing better than it was with the washers. So um, I also have, um, I put distilled water. Um, so it's distilled water and um, probably half a gallon of distilled water and potassium hydroxide. So I'm using potassium hydroxide instead of as a catalyst instead of the electrical system that I'm going to move to. But I'm I'm pleased with the amount of hydrogen that I'm getting out of this at this uh, with this just hooked up straight up to the battery here. Um, I think when I'm when I'm running it through the waveform generator that I'm going to use that this will this will put out enough for a small generator, I think. It'll put out enough for like a two horse or a five horse motor. So I'm going to give that a test and that's coming up soon. So that's my, my Hoffman apparatus. Um, and it's got just a, just the bolt that goes through. It's an all thread bolt that I have a nut down here on the bottom uh, to hold it secure with a piece of rubber in the bottom holding it through the hole so I can just hook up the electrode on the outside. And uh, I need to work on that electrode on that side because it's dripping a little bit. Um, I just need to seal that up properly. But uh, pretty pleased this is working. And uh, you're right, Stefan. Appreciate your input.